back to Some Days Now. Today we're going to take you through a hidden gem just outside Fort Myers, Florida. Caloosahatchee Regional Park has three distinct areas. The first is the picnic area and pavilions and the beginning of many miles of hiking trails leading down to the Caloosahatchee River. section of the park is the Cindy Rouse Campground. Reservations can be made online for this quiet, tent-only campground. Let's take a little walk around Cindy Rouse Campground. Site H1 is designated a handicap site. Here on the left, coming into the campground, we have a shower and a climbing rock for the kids. Caloosahatchee Regional has one public bathroom, men and women's. The camp post site. Today is Christmas Day 2023. The campground is pretty empty. This is camp site number five. On the right, we have camp site number six. Beautiful, large site. One of the little shower houses is located here. On the left here is one of our group sites, G2. Large groups camp here. Side number seven is another very nice campsite. This is site G3, which is another group site. Massive trees surrounding it. Still a nice privacy can be found here. The foliage is so thick. And on the left, we have G4. Beautiful, look at those trees. on the left, looking back.
back of the public bathroom. There are two outdoor showers here. With a sink. With hot and cold water to do your dishes. The Calusa Lodge is available to rent for gatherings of up to 85 people. There are kitchen and bathroom facilities in the lodge and a wide open space around the building. Sites E1 and E2 are perfect sites for large groups, up to 30 tents and 100 campers. There is a pit toilet for the convenience of the campers in this area of the campground. down to the canoe and kayak launch and dock. Kayaks are available to rent by the hour or by the day. Continue along the water until you get to the observation deck. This is a great place to watch the boats go by and catch a relaxing sunset. The fishing pier is located on the far end and easily accessible from the main parking lot. One of the big draws here at Calusa Hatchie Regional Park is the network of mountain biking and horseback riding trails. So we're here on the north side of the highway and behind me is a map and indications as to the level of difficulty of the trails. There are miles and miles of trails here, everything from ADA accessible to uh, most difficult. joining us on this tropical adventure. Have you paddled the Caloosahatchee? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more adventures with Martha and Russ from Some Days Now.